Larian stands in season finale night. And I'm super late tonight because I had a holiday party, but I am back. And while it is like 11.30, we're gonna watch this episode. So here we go. Can we first talk about this description? Marion confesses her true feelings. Hold up there. The fact that Aunt Agnes is like, oh, thank God we set a date for Marion's wedding. And then says this. So how would you pay for it? I can't imagine. Of course, Dashiell may pull out and not want to be linked to this doomed house of Usher. And to that I say, pray heaven, I hope he does. <laughs> okay, this Larian scene. First off, this whole scene where Larry is like talking with Jack and helping him out. I, like there's just something super attractive about it it's like he's helping jack but in a way he's really helping marion but what i love the most is this little look that he gives her this one this one look at them i'll be in and then this little setup right here i mean come on i should go too and the music that's with it as I well but what gets even easy. better is this part as you know aunt agnes is very much on the other side in the war <laughs> I meant for you to join us. Mm hmm Yeah, you did. Oh. <sighs> I'm not sure I dare. You underestimate yourself, Miss Brooke. See? The way he is just there for Marion, believes in her, helps out when she's asking for help for other people. This man is going above and beyond. And you know who probably wouldn't be doing that? We know. Dashiell. And then I love how Aunt Ada at their dinner. Oh, I love how Larry's helping out Jack. And then Aunt Agnes is like, we need to see what Dashiell is up. It's been so long since we've seen her. Here's the thing. Aunt Ada is team Marion. And I think a little bit of Larry. But Aunt Agnes is cousin Dashiell. But you know who could help them out of their financial crisis? Larry. Marion just lied about who asked her to the bet. And the look Aunt Ada just gave? Watch this. For the opening night. The Met. Is that what we are now to call the Metropolitan? I'd like to go. Which Russell has invited you? I hope it wasn't the son. Mrs. Russell asked me. She would. <laughs> Look at that. Spike me. So my niece will be in the enemy camp. You never made it a condition that Marion should be at the academy for the well, Yes, Aunt Ada. I want to see the yes. new opera house. And so you will throw over an old friend without a backward glance. The academy isn't my old friend. I'd never heard of it before mm -hmm. I came to New York. In our world, old friendships are hereditary. <laughs> I am so ready for Marion to get rid of Dashiell. The way he asked her, will you continue to teach? And then proceeds to tell her that she's going to stop once they get married. And then says this. I want you to have a lovely life of entertaining and clothes and <laughs> babies eventually. And no work at all. That would please Aunt Agnes. And you, I hope. Did I hear you? I mean... If it was her choice, sure. But she loves to teach. It's her passion. Why would he want her to stop? And also, why is his thought of a woman only for entertaining to wear clothes and produce babies? Ugh. Anywho, ready to see him. Bye, bye, bye. Y'all, it freaking happened. It freaking happened. Watch this. I'm afraid you won't think so. Because... I cannot marry you. Yes! <laughs> I can't be your wife. Yep. It wouldn't be right. Yep. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. But I thought you loved She me. never said I that. You loved Francis. I do love Francis. And I am so sad if this is disappointing for her. Then why are you doing it? Because I don't think we want the same thing. Mm-hmm. Or even the same life. Yep. I want a life like everyone else's. But I don't. Yep. Or not yet. I, I want to do some good in the world before mm -hmm. I settle down. I don't understand. This guy is acting as if he's all heartbroken. When Marion literally was like, I'm just a temporary fix. You don't love me. Marion deserves to be like head over heels loved by somebody. She's not a band-aid to this solution. Nobody should be that way. And loneliness is not a reason to get married. I think I might cry on the fact that Aunt Ada knew that Marion was not meant to be with Dashiell and that Marion finally got to see what true love is because I don't think she saw it with her father and 
I guess her mother. So when Aunt Ada was like, I'm so happy to be the role by which you judge these things. Oh, it's just very like, I don't know, kind of teary eyed. All right, remember what I said about the yellow dresses? Well, she mainly wears the color yellow when she's very happy and with Larry. Check what she's wearing to the Met. I do wish you luck, contact me. Look how perfect they are together. The way Larry keeps looking at Marion as if like he's already in love and I am just like so here for it. Just like watch this scene, okay? It's just like the way he just like gives her these like like looks of like admiration and just like oh to have a man look at you like this. And perhaps that's the trick of getting it. You're very philosophical tonight. I was reminded of something Aunt Agnes said to me. Look at him. Larry truly seeing Marion for who she is is something I will always love. Love, love, love. I actually recently had a conversation with my mom. She said, I just want someone who adores you. And this is what I feel like she means. Not exactly, but Aunt Agnes is right. It's time I took control of my life. You do know you're a marvelous person. I know it's kind of you to say so. I mean it. Oh, so good. I am unwell. I am unwell. Y'all, it's like one in the morning. I am unwell. Just watch this. It's like, why did they leave this at the very end? If we don't get a season three, I, I, uh, I just watch. For us to have to say goodbye. We'll never say goodbye. We know far too much about each other's lives not to be friends forever. <laughs> Look at him. Oh my god. So cute. Oh. <sighs> yeah. Oh. <clears throat> that season finale was so good. I can't even put into words how badly we need a season three. Uh, I'm gonna go to bed now <laughs> after I post this. Um, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> we officially have a area. <laughs> And I, I'm going to have to go to sleep. I don't know how I'm going to go to sleep. Yeah, I'm a little lost for words. But y'all, seriously, this was the best finale ever. I have so many more thoughts, but I have to go to bed. Larry and Stan's, we win! <laughs>